Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, and you probably are, consider clicking the subscribe button down below, at least if you end up liking what you're about to watch. Alright my friends, the time has come, uh, once again, to do another edition of Random Horror Games. It's a little thing where I play random horror games. Uh, for this, right here, we're gonna start it off by playing Mr. Lupin. I got it on Itch.io for free. Now apparently this is by Capybara Forge. Uh, that developer made a game that I just recently played called Three Minutes with Your Dog, I think. And it was about playing with your dog in like the park with a frisbee. And uh, creepy things were happening around you. So yeah, let's begin. Press E. Okay. Oh no! Mr. Bolly, come back. Mr. Bolly? Chase Mr. Ball. There you are, Mr. Bolly. Susie? What? A hello? Who's there? Dot, dot, dot. Follow the voice. Is this a good idea? Susie, you're finally here. Come closer. I like that groan. It's like, eh. Closer. Just one more step, Susie. It's a box. Who are you? Ah, where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Mr. Lupin. And you, my dear, you can call me your new friend. Uh, why do you know my name? And, uh, are you in there? Oh, Susie, I know many things. But first, won't you do me a favor? Please, tear the wrapping paper so I can see your wonderful face. It is wonderful. Ah, much better, my dear. Now I can see you clearly. You're a true gem. I noticed the scent of cheese. <laughs> what? It's my favorite, and I'm ever so hungry. Okay, well, this guy is trustable. He likes cheese. Everyone likes cheese. Cheese? Well, I don't have any cheese with me, Mr. Lupin. But I smell cheese all around this alley. Could you do me a favor and collect some for me? I promise, I'll be forever grateful. I guess we're gonna do it. Time to look for some cheese. Um, I can look around by moving the cursor and interact with my surroundings by pressing E. Alright, well there's, there's some cheese. Nice, nice. Perfect! Served on a platter, just for us. Um... Are these blinds? To like a window? Oh no. It's just hiding more cheese. Perfect. Oh, there's there's cheese here too. Okay. Go back. There was cheese on that mouse trap too. Are we a mouse? I'm a little confused. Do mice play with balls, though? Um, here's some cheese for you, Mr. Lupin. I hope you like it. Oh, how delightful! You're a true friend, Susie. Press E to change your throw direction and force. Oh, yeah. Just like the dog in the park game. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Dang. I'm doing pretty good. Thank you for this delicious treat. You're welcome, Mr. Lupin. It's not every day I meet someone like you. And it's not every day I meet someone as kind as you, Susie. But, do you think you could find me a bit more cheese? It's my absolute favorite, and I promise I'll cherish it. Mm -hmm. 
I guess we're gonna get more cheese. Okay. All right. There it is. Nice. Uh, mouse traps, and it looks like there's a a teepee, a cheese teepee. Best kinds. What is that? Okay. Thanks. Uh. Is that like a jack in the box? Oh. Here's a key. For the keyhole. For not unlock it. There's something in there. What does this do? To go on that? Oh, we're. We're fixing it, I guess. Oh, a hand popped out with more cheese. Uh, this is very strange. Go back. Mr. Lupin, I found some more cheese for you. I hope you like it. Oh, Susie, you've truly outdone yourself. You're such a wonderful friend. Yeah, don't forget it. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna miss it. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? Did I do it again? Okay. Started off so well. You probably don't want to anger Mr. Lupin. He does love his cheese. This cheese is simply irresistible. But you see, I'm still ever so hungry. Is there any chance you could find just a little more cheese for me, dear? My god, what a glutton. But okay. More cheese, Mr. Lupin? I should go home now. It's late. Come on, Susie. Just a little bit more. Please don't disappoint me. Oh, we have two choices here. Well, oh my god. Um, I don't know what would happen if we go home. But uh, let's continue to feed him, I think. All right, Mr. Lupin. I'll try to find more cheese for you. You've been nice to me and friends help each other, right? But please, promise me that this will be the last time, okay? I promise. Just a little more. Is, is Pennywise down there? Is that a sewer grate with a red balloon? What the hell? What is that? Oh, a toothpick? We're gonna pop it? Okay, there's cheese floating in it. Great. We did it. I got something for you. What happened to you? Nothing, Susie. Everything is just fine. I feel very alive right now. It's been a while since I had a good conversation with someone. What? He's red. Red means scary. Susie, my dear. You've been so kind to me. Just a little more cheese and I promise it'll be worth your while. I got a surprise for you. Mr. Lupin, I'm not sure about that. I think I should really go now. Oh, Susie, I understand your hesitation, but please, just a little more. I can't bear to see you go empty-handed. Trust me, it's for the best. I guess we're getting more. Uh, they're in mouse traps. Are we gonna get killed? Are we a mouse? Where is that? Oh, we took the one that's not in the mouse trap. All right. Uh, okay, I found something, but that's it. I'm going home after this. What? Ooh, I did it. Mr. Lupin? 
Are you okay? That's all I found. I'm sorry. Well, I'll go home now. Bye. Just a little bit more, Susie. I don't want to get any more. He's trying to make me pick from the cheese mouse crap thingy. We're gonna... Ow, I told you. Oh. Ow. Ooh, now there's blood on the cheese. Maybe that's what he wanted. A blood sacrifice. Oh! I missed. Got it. I think. I think it went in. Oh my god. No! Oh, okay, Mr. Lupin. Uh, we're done now. How do I get it in there? Oh my god. Oh, I think it did go in, did it? Oh, I got it in. Alright. Hmm. How could I forget the taste of blood? I think you are ready now, Susie. Are you ready to see the surprise? Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Run away or help Mr. Lupin. Let's help him. No need to be shy now. Just follow me. Oh. What? Are we feeding him organs? I think so. Delicious. Yum, yum. Yes, I can feel it! Is he full? Mr. Lupin, are you there? Try to flee, or stay. There's choices here. I'm staying, I'm crazy. Susie. Ending 4 of 4. Friends feed forever okay so we're like a friend forever there's other endings should I get them yeah I think I'll get them and I'll cut them in so I'll be right back all right guys so I'm back to this point to get the other ending um, we're gonna go home I'm sorry but I have to go home now okay but promise me you can come back tomorrow I promise we lied. Ending one of four. See you tomorrow. You made it home safely and decided to pay Mr. Lupin a visit tomorrow. Okay. Okay, time for another ending. Um, are we ready to see the surprise? No, no. No, we're not. Uh, we're gonna run away. I'm sorry. Better tell that to you parents. Okay. What? Let's run away. Ending two out of four. Hello, Susie. In the silence of the night, Mr. Lupin's revenge was swift and brutal. Okay, one more ending. Let's get it. All right, so I'm feeding him those organs again, and I just noticed there's spider legs coming out of the box. I did not realize that the first time. That's interesting. Yum, yum. Um, so hopefully this gives us a different ending. Oh, there's one more. Oh, he can feel it. No, he's gone. And, uh, are you there? Okay, cry to flee. Let's do that. Oh, we're, we're actually out on the road. 
Let's run. We're out of here. Okay. Where are we going? I don't know where to go. So far so good, right? I don't I don't see him behind us. Uh, oh! Okay, that made me jump. Ending three out of four. Together forever! Where did Susie go? Some of you will never know. Alright, next game. Okay, this one is called Stalls of Dread by Apish Box Games. I am looking forward to this one. So, let's go. I need to find an empty stall. Okay. That should be easy enough. There are only three. So, trial and error. Occupy. And that one is free. Let's go in. Okay. We're doing our thing. <laughs> Definitely doing our thing. <laughs> wow. I am almost done. I don't know who we're saying that to. Guess it could be our inner monologue. Uh, hello, the stall is occupied. I will beat you up, man. Go away. I'm coming out, asshole. Ugh. Where did he go? Okay, so we're good to go. Um, that was weird. Should we wash our hands? No? Okay, I guess we're not gonna wash our hands. It's locked. Uh-oh, that's not good. Uh, a little concerning, though, that he wasn't even gonna use some sanitizer or something after taking his shit. That's gross. I mean, we've all done it after we've peed. Like, we're in a rush, who cares? Right? It's just our dick. No worries. But when you poop, uh, unacceptable. And what is that? There's a note. Came out from the middle stall. That's weird. Check the trash. What was that? There's squeaking. Uh, okay. Checking the trash. <laughs> what is going on? Hello? Okay. Try the door again. Still locked. Um... What is that noise coming from? Okay. Uh, spooky! There's another note. Check the sink! I can do that. Oh no. I was attacked by the creature. It locked me inside. The stall. I was helpless until I found a vent. Behind one of the mirrors. Also, there's a key which opens the door. Escape. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna open up the vents. I'm sure we'll be fine. I need to find a key and get back. Uh, ooh. Hopefully that spaghetti sauce. Fingers crossed. Uh, which way should we go? Ooh. A bloody handprint. This can't be good. Okay. We have two roads to go. Um. Okay. Nice. It is too late for me. If someone finds this, that means I am long gone. I put the keys all the way in the back. 
Hopefully the creature won't notice it. Fuck. I should have never used this restroom. Yeah, I mean, unless you really have to. You should not use any public restroom because chances are, um, there's gonna, there's gonna be some trouble, okay? It's gonna be gross, it's gonna be smelly, um, or for instance, it was like, last week, okay, I went to the library, and I had to use the bathroom. I just had to pee, but I like to do it in the stall, okay, and I have to use the handicap stall because I'm in a wheelchair, and the other ones are too narrow. So I go to the handicap, ignore that, I go to the handicap stall, and I notice that someone's in there, and they're grunting loudly and farting and shitting violently, and I hear them pulling toilet paper, you know, like like strand after strand or roll after roll. You know what I mean. They're pulling a lot of toilet paper out. And I'm like, this is freaking disgusting. So I left. I went outside. It was a nice day out. And I came back 20 minutes later because I still had to pee. And um, they were still in there grunting and shitting. Not cool, man. Actually pretty gross. Now I don't know which way I'm going. Or if I'm going the wrong way. Uh, not that way. That's not the right way. This way? There it is. It's a really big key. Oh my. Oh! What was that? He looked, uh, friendly, actually. I'm not hating that. I think this is the way to go. Heading back to the vent now. Um. Ugh. This way? Not that way. Perhaps this way. Yes, indeed. Let's get out of here. I think we're good. We got this. Finally! I should get out of here. Hmm? Ending 2! Escape. The game. By Nyman. Okay. Well, there's another ending I need to get, so let's go back and do that. Okay, here we are. Um, now, to get the other ending, I don't know. What if we don't choose a stall? What if we just... Can we just turn around and leave and be like, screw this? Like, it's probably a good idea, right? Okay, it worked! Ending one, no shit today. Alright, that was good, that was good. Yes. Okay, this is the last one for tonight, or today, whenever you're looking at this. Um, I think this is called Chango. It's made by Puko. We all know Puko. Yep, there's the title screen. Miraculous. Um, I already liked I like the groove. I like the style. Lots of red. It's scary. We're in a grocery store. Is the grocery store named Chango? Is Chango someone's name? A person, maybe? I don't know. I have many questions. This is very eerie. Okay. Interesting. Here we are. At the store. So, this is the place. I have to solve the case of Chango. Mm -hmm. We're a detective then? Kind of sounds like. Hello, friends. Yo, what up, buddy? You coming to grab a cold one, huh? Can't you hook me up with some crypto, man? Nobody's gonna know. Come on. I can't, bro. The app won't let me. They won't demote you for helping me get a beer, man. Come on. Okay, I just noticed that was a few people talking, so I was a little mixed up there. So, my bad. 
All right, let's talk to this one. They all have really creepy faces. Uh, ever since those Changuito rumors have started, sales have gone down. What's this Changuito thing? Oh, you haven't heard? They say there's this special supermarket cart. If you interact with the cart, bad things happen. Very bad things occur. But, it's just a stupid story, kid. Sales suffer because of nonsense. Back in my day, I was a programmer. We used to write code by hand. Me too. I remember those days. Look at what it's become now. A mess. Can't even tell what's real and what's not. Any AI can throw in an augmented cart and bam. People get scared, you know? They won't even come to buy milk. Now they say... They're going to do something to prove we're human. Madness, kid. Alright. Interesting. Still a little confused on if it's back and forth, or if it's mostly one person. Maybe they should, should differentiate the dialogue with a different color. But that's just my opinion. Unless it's just all the person we're talking to speaking. I don't know. Um, bye, bye, bye. Well, that's all that person said. Um, can we interact with these cards? Can't interact with that one. Okay. Um, I guess we'll go this way. And I noticed there's an alley out back, too. That shopping cart moved. By itself. Okay, I guess we'll, uh, we'll click it. Uh-oh. What happens? Sound like screaming. Um, everything okay out here? That woman's gone. She was here. She's not there anymore. Oh, what is happening over here? <laughs> what the? Is his head blown off? He's dead. Okay. He is dead. And I feel like I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, Miss, are you okay? Are you just uh, watching the guy with blood spraying out of his neck? Oh, his head, his head. Yeah, his head. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's talk to this guy again. If you're not going to send me crypto, why bother coming back? Okay, jackass. Should we go in the alley now? See what's back there. This is really weird. And the ground looks like it's, uh, kind of splitting. This garbage seems to be filled with memories. What does that mean? Okay. Well, that's, that's all it does, so... What kind of memories? Can we go across? Can we leave the store? Seems we can. What is this? The old man's head is inside. Hmm. I should investigate this case. I don't think a Chango can be capable of such thing. There must be something else. <laughs> okay. I like how calm he is about it. Hmm. An old man's head. Maybe I should investigate. Yeah, we'll talk to... Talk to these young... Fellas. Oh, Norberta. I love you. Oh, Rizaldo. Finally alone. Um, don't they realize I'm standing right in front of them? They're not really alone. Okay. 
What on earth am I doing? Where am I going? This is so weird. Oh! What was that? I guess we're going back. Uh, this person seems dirty. I think. I heard a scream in the park. In the park. I was just at the park. I guess we're going back. Someone's dead, I think. Oh, yeah. I think they're both dead. Hmm. They have no head. Yeah. They really don't. Okay. Have we solved the mystery, then? I think the card is gone. Two. There was a card there. With the head in it. Uh, can we talk to the crypto? Guy again? Buddy? Yeah. Don't you... Buddy me. What? Oh, that was the shopping cart. Because I saw a shopping cart right there. And now it's back over here. Um, apparently the shopping cart is the Chango. Okay. <laughs> I think there were two heads in it, and, uh... What? What is up? What is happening? <laughs> I'm in a loss for words. Can't do anything. Is that it? Is there anything else? Because nothing's happening. I can't move. I'm still waiting, because maybe that's not the end? This game is so strange. What is that? Guys? That was it, but... The description page said there are two endings. I don't know what ending that was. Um, hold on. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, I found this thingy. I don't know what it is, but um, I noticed it after I... Went back into the store, and the cart came flying at me, and now everyone's heads are off. So what is this? It's a knife! Somebody tried to hide it here. Okay. I should keep looking for clues. Okay, so there's more clues then. Why don't we take the knife, though? Um... Keep looking for clues without touching that, because... That ended the game the last time. We could go back into the uh, alley, I think, where the memories are in the garbage. Because they didn't do anything the first time. Um, I don't know if they'll do anything this time. Yeah, memories. Okay. So, no, that did not actually do anything. Let's go back in the store. And I don't think I looked at these guys the first time. Uh, definitely she's dead. I'm running out of suspects in the area. Yeah. Can we just leave? Can we just keep going this way? Oh no. Okay. We can't. Um, there's an invisible wall. Let's go back in the store. Take a look. 
We can't go behind the counter. Um, could the cart be back over here? Like another cart? Oh, what's this? There's a note. Somebody dropped a shopping receipt. It appears to be torn in half. It's the receipt for the killer's knife. I should find the other half. Okay, the other half of the receipt? <laughs> sure. We can do that. It's too dark right here. Um, it's not in the cart, right? No. So, we'll run around. And look on the shelves. No, I'm not seeing one. So where could the receipt be? The other half. Oh. It's right there. Just what I thought. Here's the other half. They probably used Chango to dispose of the heads in the landfill. I'm very close to solving this case. I just need to see whose name the purchase was under. And... And... What? Can't be possible. It's... It's my name. I... I should... Should... I should investigate the Django case. Alright. Um... Yeah. We did it! Alright guys, you know what? I liked all three of those games. They were all pretty wacky, okay? The first one, there was the creature in the box that wanted cheese and apparently blood. And then the second one, which was a really good pooping game with farting and pooping and farting. All of which I appreciate. I appreciate a good bathroom game. And that was also by Niven Hedinger, I believe. Um, friend of the channel, I think. Uh, he leaves comments sometimes and... I love his videos. They're really good and his games. So he's got a YouTube channel. I would suggest to check it out. And the last one, which was Django, about a killer shopping cart. That was pretty crazy, too. Yeah. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll be back soon with more horror games. Okay? Peace.